Hey guys, I'm John from Microtech and I have here with me today one of the very first of our next generation race ECUs for you all to take a look at. Some of you may already have uh, seen a few pictures pop up on Facebook and Instagram over the last few weeks, but uh, this video will be the first official public appearance. Uh, we've been working on them now for about 18 months. We've been testing them in a few different cars at the track for roughly about 12 months now, and we've got them to the stage where we're happy with how everything's working and how they're performing. So we're now in the process of getting our shit together with our production line so we can start cranking them out. This particular ECU is the race version, as you can obviously all see, um, but we'll also be making a street version as well. The race version is going to be released first, uh, then the street version will follow around six weeks after that, all going well. On the outside, we've gone to a black anodized billet aluminium case uh, with the laser etched logo. Uh, probably the most noticeable change is we've used a Tyco wiring plug, which is uh, definitely going to keep all the wiring gurus out there happy. Um, the Tyco connector certainly looks a lot nicer, but the main reason we went down this path um, is because the Tyco connector has a lot more pins, which means we're able to add a lot more inputs and outputs into the ECU. On the inside, pretty much everything is totally new. We've used a different circuit board, newer and faster processors, and we've also spent a significant amount of time with how the injector drivers work, which should help the tuners get a little more out of their injectors on the racetrack. Feature-wise, it will have built-in CO2-based boost controller, more auxiliary inputs, more auxiliary outputs, including some timer-based auxiliary outputs, extra sensor inputs, inbuilt LSU 4.9 wideband, inbuilt bump box, uh, converter pressure dump, nitrous control. You'll be able to set up a different tune for each gear. Um, you'll also be able to add extra fuel via drive shaft RPM, plus a few other things. There's going to be a new tuning software to use with this ECU and the laptop will now connect into this little USB port here so you won't need to use the Microtech laptop adapter anymore. Um, we're also working on a new CAN based handset which has a three and a half inch color touch screen which will replace our old LCD type screen. At this stage, we're probably still another three or four weeks away from having them ready. Uh, but over the next few weeks, I'll be doing a series of videos that will go into a lot more detail on some of the new features and how they work. So be sure to keep an eye out for those as we get a little bit closer to the release date. I'll also have one of these with me at the 2018 Brisbane Jamboree next weekend. If anyone wants to come and have a closer look uh, or ask any questions, come find me and I'll be only too happy to run through all of it with you. If you can't make it to Jamboree and you have a question to ask, um, just leave it in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer those. Thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.